and hit, or you got it, perfect. Well, good morning, everybody. Thanks for joining us for our Wednesday Transition Live. Uh, today we have a special, um, special activity for us. As you might have heard, Wednesday, or March is reading month. So let me share my screen here. Uh, we're gonna talk just a little bit about why we celebrate that, uh, where it came from, and then the transition teachers and team have a nice fun story that we're gonna read. And we're gonna end with a special activity. I haven't told I haven't told a lot of people about yet. So you have to wait and find out what that is. Let me share my screen here. Now the theme for this this year's March Reading Month is peace, love, and read. Um, so as, as we go through some of the, the torrent buildings, if you're an in-person learner, you'll see everybody's gotten their doors decorated. Uh, for our theme, we've been doing some fun reading activity or um, reading challenges so far throughout the month. You guys should have seen Miss Ashley yesterday. My goodness, uh, she, all of the students around Torrent and at home have been reading so much that Miss Ashley and Miss Amy had to dye their hairs crazy colors, and it was super fun. And there's many more, many more um, rewards to be earned as well. Up, if we keep reading and keep building up all these these minutes of, of reading, all the transition teachers are going to get pied in the face. Um, somehow, somehow they suckered us into signing up for that one. I don't know. Uh, a couple couple teachers are going to do an ice bucket challenge, um, and the the penultimate prize of it all is if we read enough minutes throughout the month of March. Mr. Sam and Mr. Clark are going to have an epic lip sync battle. I don't know about you, but I'm I, I'm planning on reading quite a bit just to just to help get to that point. I got to see that. I think. But March is reading month, and you might ask yourself, uh, I mean, reading month is great, but why do we celebrate it in March? And the reason that is, is to honor uh, Dr. Seuss's birthday. His birthday is in March. Uh, as you know, everybody's grown up reading Dr. Seuss books. Um, he he talks about a lot of great morals, uh, a lot of great reading skills for young readers can be taught through Dr. Seuss books. Um, but March is designated as the National Reading Month, and that's a month to motivate Americans of all ages to read every day uh, and really just um, build up that enjoyment for reading. Uh, the more you read, the better, the, the easier it gets, the more enjoyable it gets, um, and the more you can learn. And uh, Dr. Seuss has a very famous quote, which I put down below here. It says, the more that you read, the more that you'll know, the more that you learn, the more places you go. So the more that you read, uh, the smarter you can become, the more you can achieve in your life. So reading is just such an important skill that everybody um, should strive to, to practice. Um, you never stop learning. And as you um, get into being an adult and, and through the rest of your life, you're always going to be a learner. And the more you read, the more you get to learn and, and achieve in your life. So such an important uh, thing to celebrate, especially in the month of March here. We do have a fun story that we're going to read. We're going to read a story called The Legend of Rock, Paper, Scissors. This is a, a really fun story with lots of different um funny parts in here and all the transition teachers are going to be uh, taking part so i hope you guys enjoy <clears throat> long ago in an ancient and distant realm called the kingdom of back your back garden there lived a warrior named rock rock was the strongest in all the land but he was sad because no one could give him a worthy challenge Rock traveled to the mysterious forest of over by the tire swing, where he met a warrior who hung on a rope holding a giant's underwear. Drop that underwear and battle me, you ridiculous wooden clip man. I will pinch you and make you cry, Rock Warrior. Mm. Rock! versus clothes peg mm. is victorious 
even though he had won, Rock was still unsatisfied. So he journeyed on to the mystical tower of Grandma's favorite apricot tree. It was there that he was met by an odd and delicious fruit. You, sir, look like a fuzzy little bum. What? I challenge you to a duel. D let us battle. Rock versus Apricot. I will beat you, Rock, with my tart and tangy sweetness. Rock is victorious. Oh. I am squished. And yet, smooshing you has brought me no joy. Are you not entertained? They were, in fact, entertained. But the battle had been too easy. So Rock left the kingdom of Bat Garden, still in search of a worthy foe. Meanwhile, in the empire of Mom's study, on lonely and windswept Desk Mountain, a second great warrior sought the glory of battle, and his name was Paper. Even though he was the cleverest warrior in all the land, he was also sad because no one could outwit him. He set out across Desk Mountain to find his match, and there he met a large and square monster. Oh, I gather, I gobble up the likes of you and spit them out every day, little paper. Oh, then taste my fury, you giant box monster. Paper versus computer printer. No, not a paper jam. Paper is victorious. Having beaten the fiercest fighter of Desk Mountain, Paper climbed down to the pit of office rubbish bin, where he battled the most terrifying horde of creatures in all the land. The half-eaten bag of trail mix. Paper versus half-eaten bag of trail mix. Oh, no. Wizard, he's blotted out the sun. Run for your lives, Lenny. Paper wins again. Can no one beat me? And so, with a heavy heart, Paper departed the empire of Mom's study. At the same time, in the kitchen realm, in the tiny village of Junk Drawer, there lived a third great warrior. They called her Scissors. And she was the fastest blade in all the land. She, too, was unchallenged. On this day, her first opponent was a strange and sticky circle man. I will bottle you and I will leave you beaten and confused with my adhesive and tingling powers. Ha! Let us do battle, you tacky and vaguely around monstrosity. Scissors versus roll of tape. Scissors is victorious. Scissors forged on across the kitchen realm to the frigid wastes of refrigerator freezer. There she met her most fearsome adversaries yet. Dinosaurs made of frozen breaded chicken. I have come from far reaches of kitchen to battle you, oh bizarre, yummy breaded dinosaurs. Oh, before our child pleasing shapes and flavors, Swordmaster. No one can resist our crunchy awesomeness. Scissors versus dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets. Dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets win? No, wait, no, they don't. The scissors are victorious again. Am I so good? 
that not even dinosaur shaped chicken nuggets can beat me? And so scissors, like rock and paper before her, traveled beyond her own kingdom, seeking out a challenger who was her equal. Then, one day, in the great cavern of Two Car Garage, rock and scissors came face to face. I hope you are wearing your battle pants, rock warrior. If by battle pants you mean no pants but I'm willing to fight you, then yes, yes, I am wearing my battle pants, weird old scissory one. Rock versus scissors. An epic and legendary battle ensued, but ultimately rock is victorious. You have made me so happy by beating me. I wish I felt your joy, scissors, for I have yet to meet a warrior who can beat me. Hi there. Those are fighting words. Wait, what? Rock versus paper. Oh, geez, this is awkward. <laughs> this is the best day of my life. Thank you for winning. Oh, great night of paper. That's fine for you, but it looks as though no one still can beat me. Not so fast, paper. Wait, what? Scissors versus paper. You beat me. And the three great warriors hugged each other and danced for joy. And they became best friends. Finally, they had each met their matches. They were so happy, in fact, that they began to battle again and again. Round and round they went in the most massive and epic three-way battle of all time. And it is said that this joyous struggle still rages on to this day. That is why children around the world in back gardens, on playgrounds, and yes, even in classrooms, still honor the three great warriors by playing rock, paper, Caesar. Rock, paper, scissors. You know, I never knew that's how this story began. Uh, it was kind of interesting to learn some of the history. Um, but what did you guys think? If you have your yes, no cards out, I'd love to hear, I'd love to hear what you guys thought of this story. Did you like this story? Yes? Or did you not like this story? No. I see a lot of yeses from some of our teachers, Miss Connie, Miss Ashley. What do you guys think? Molly, Joey, Let's see who else we have? Mr. Terrence seemed like he liked this story. Joey, you liked it? That's great. Great to hear. Oh, Destiny, I'm glad to hear that you liked it as well. What do you think, Miss Molly? Do you have your yes, no uh, cards there? Did you like this story? Well, I'm glad to hear that. Now, uh, we're going to do something fun. We have. This is Carol. She's holding it up. She, oh, perfect, Molly. Thank you. Thank you. I'm glad. I'm glad you guys enjoyed this. This is such a fun story. Like you said, part of reading, um, especially a really theatrical book like this, is that you can really get into the characters. You can um, make it as fun as you want to make it. So, um, thank you guys all for, for doing such a great job with all your parts. Now we have Miss Molly, Mr. Joey, and Miss Destiny on here. And we're going to have a little rock, paper, scissors tournament. Now I know that your parents and your teachers have taught you all to be upstanding individuals. So do, I don't want you looking at each other's screens when we do this. That would be cheating. But we're gonna start out and have a couple couple rounds of rock, paper, scissors. And it's gonna be, let's see, Miss Molly versus Mr. Joey first. 
And then we're going to do Miss Destiny versus Mr. Sam. And we'll see who's going to come out on top as the greatest rock, paper, scissors warrior of the transition team classrooms. Are you ready? So what we're going to need is your ABC cards. And if you want to play rock, I want you to hold up an A. If you want to play paper, hold up your B card. And if you want to play scissors, hold up your C card. All right. Mr. Mo Mr. Joey and Miss Molly. All right. Are you ready? Rock, paper, or scissors? That would be A, B, or C. I saw, I saw yours, Joey. What do you think, Miss Molly? A, B, or C? Oh, man. We're in a dilemma. You both said scissors. All right. So we're gonna go again. We're gonna go again because you tied. We gotta see who's gonna come out on top. Joey's got his next one in. Miss Molly, are you staying with that or do you wanna pick a new card? Sticking with C? All right, in that case, Miss Molly, you played scissors and Joey changed his choice to rock. Learn from our story. Rock beats scissors. So, Joey, you're going to progress on to the next round of our tournament. Congratulations. All right. We have Miss Destiny is Mr. Sam. Now, be careful, Miss Destiny. <laughs> Played an excellent rock. All right. Watch out. He's pretty cunning. All right, Mr. Sam has his card up. Miss Destiny, let me find it here in the chat. Hang on. There you are. What do you think, Miss Destiny? B, paper, or C, scissors? You want to do something? Okay. She's showing scissors. Scissors. Uh oh, Destiny. <laughs> I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news. Oh, Mr. Sam won. Excellent play. But Mr. Rock play, Mr. Sam played rock. And rock beats. <laughs> we have for our final round of the transition team rock, paper, scissors tournament, Mr. Joey Spink versus Mr. Sam. All right, Joey, are you ready? A rock, B paper, or C scissors? All right, I just checked the chat. Lots of people are rooting for you, Des. Or I'm sorry, lots of people are rooting for you, Joey. <laughs> I gotta find you here on the chat. Mr. Sam's got his card up. Joey, if you if you showed it, I missed it. I'm sorry, buddy. Can you show me again? He held up a B. He held up a B. Oh, we have it. We have our result. Mr. Joey played paper, and Mr. Sam stuck with his guns and played rock. As we all know, rock covered paper. This is an awkward situation, as the rock in our story said himself. Joey Spink is the winner. Way to go, Joe. Yeah, you won, buddy. Congratulations. Two extra roar bucks for Joey for winning the rock, paper, scissors tournament. What do you think of that, Miss Ash? Can we handle that? We're on our way right now to put them up on the wall. Wonderful, wonderful. Everyone, I'm glad to see everybody really enjoyed our story. That's just one of the many, many stories out there that are just such fun to read, especially during March, but really throughout every month 
every every week, every day you should be reading a little bit. As we said, we're all adults in these transition classrooms, but even once you reach adulthood, you're still a learner. You got to keep learning. And to do that, you got to keep reading. So keep up the reading. Make sure we're tracking those minutes so that we can see our transition team uh, get right in the face. And most importantly, Miss see Mr. Sam in an epic, uh, epic lip sync battle. I can't wait to see that myself. Well, thank you guys. That went a lot faster than I had planned, but I'm glad everybody enjoyed it. Is there anything else you wanted to add, Miss Ashley? Mr. Charles, can you share all of the um, incentives that the tour or the transition teachers are involved in? Yeah, I can. I'd be happy to do that. Let me. Um, I'll have to pull it up here. Um, bear with me here. Let's see. I got too many emails. Here we go. Let me share my screen again. The reading incentives are as follows. Let's see. <laughs> Now we had crazy hair day. Somehow Miss Amy, Miss Amy got out of doing the spoon balance challenge. I'm not really sure what that even is. She did do it? Okay. I must have just missed it. But we got to see crazy hair day yesterday with Miss Ash and Miss Amy. Coming up when we read 1000 minutes as as a collective group with the Torrance Center. And all of our at-home learners, Miss Misty from down in SXI2 is going to be duct taped to a wall. Poor Miss Misty, but she signed up for it. And, and I think you guys are going to achieve that. After that, at 1,500 reading minutes, the transition teachers are going to be getting pied in the face. So we have that to look forward to. At 2,000 minutes, Miss Cassie is going to be roller skating in the hallways in a costume. Costume to be determined. 2,500 minutes. Connie, Miss Connie's going to be kissing a pig. Now, where are you getting this pig at, Miss Connie? I understand a live pig is being um, provided for that day. All right. Keep on reading, everybody. I kind of want to see that now. I kind of have to see it. So keep on reading these minutes and tracking those minutes. After that, at 3,000, oops, 3,000 minutes, Miss Amy's going to dress like a character, be it a princess or a superhero. At 3,500 minutes, Miss Ashley, Mr. Sam, and myself are going to be doing an ice bucket challenge. Uh, let me move my these faces here. Hang on. At 4,000 minutes, the office staff are going to be wearing ugly outfits. And then the epic, what is that? Oh. 25,000 minutes. Whoa, what a jump there. We better get working. At 25,000 minutes, Mr. Sam versus Mr. Clark in the most epic lip sync battle Torrent has ever seen. From what I know, I'm new here. Maybe you guys used to have lots of epic lip sync battles. No? Okay. I, I think Mr. Clark might be a little nervous about losing, so he had to bump up the minutes a little bit. I think so. That seems there seems this seems, seems to be an inside job. I think I, that's all right. I think we can achieve it. I think we can achieve it. So keep on reading, everybody. Not only for your own benefit, but for the benefit of all of us when we get to see some of these fun prizes. Great idea, Miss Ashley. Thank you. Plus, reading month. Let me, let me pull this one up too. Reading month, we also have lots of different activities going on during the month. 
Uh, let me pull that one up here. Lots of dress up days. Um, different special guest readers. All right. Share screen. Let's check this out. Let me zoom in. So right now we're at, what is today? The 10th. Um, we got to have our, our activity yesterday. Tomorrow we have a special guest reader. Uh, I'm assuming that's during Tiger Zoom News. We haven't heard a different time for that yet, but it's going to be Miss Maureen Keene. And there's a special dress up day. Dress in your favorite holiday clothing, no matter what the holiday. So if you're joining your classroom virtually, uh, be sure to be sure to dress accordingly to your favorite holiday clothing. If you're an in-person learner, wear those Christmas sweaters, that Halloween shirt, uh, whatever your whatever your favorite holiday is. Dress for the occasion. Um, the twelfth, which is this Friday, every Friday is Paul Pride Color Day. So dress in your oranges and your blues. Um, Every Monday is tie-dye day because we are celebrating peace, love, and reading for reading month. Next week, we have hats off to reading. So wear your favorite hat. We have another guest reader that day. Um, then wear green the following Wednesday. I'll just read through some of these. Wear your favorite exercise clothes. Crazy sock day. Dress like your favorite teacher or principal day. Wear neon colors day, and then all of this leads up to spring break. Can you guys believe that? My goodness. So lots of fun reading activities coming up and fun reading prizes to learn. Make sure you're tracking those reading minutes at home. If you're reading at home with your mom or dad or a family member and let your teacher know, that way we can get them input and make sure we're getting, uh, getting all, of our, all of our reading minutes are taken into account for our prizes. Did I miss anything, Miss Ashley? I don't think so. Well, thank you guys. You all did such a wonderful job. Joey, congratulations again on the Rock, Paper, Scissors tournament. Be sure to go brag to your friends and family that you are the one and only Torrent Center Transition Rock, Paper, Scissors champion. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Thanks.